thing cooperates with Friday. It's going to be a, a nice time out there no matter what. And it's a beautiful day today. Too bad we can't copy and paste today's forecast for Friday. But looking out over Tybee Island right now, it's a gorgeous day to get out there and spend some time outside if you get the opportunity to do so. You'll notice that Hilton Head is quite cooler compared to inland areas. Well, that's because we have an onshore flow. So you've got wind blowing over the cool ocean onto the land. So right at the beaches, going to keep it a little cooler. But we're seeing some 80s around Richmond Hill and Jessup there at 82. So there's your wind coming on shore at 10 miles an hour for Hilton Head. Less of an impact as you go further inland where it's more of a southerly breeze here as we get into these early afternoon hours and on the fair and fair first alert live radar seeing a little bit of cloud cover popping up there along the Savannah River. Also just a few little sprinkles offshore not seeing a lot of rain over land today. So we're going to remain dry pretty warm here over the next couple of days. The high pressure that is off to our north and east right now that's keeping us relatively dry, but also kind of giving us that onshore flow as well. So mixing, uh, I, I guess you could say forces there, uh, changing the wind up. But for our afternoon specifically, we're going to see temperatures near 80 degrees for Savannah, just an ever so slight chance of an isolated shower with that southeasterly breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Going through the evening hours, pretty quiet across the area, upper 60s to mid 60s right around in their after dinner time. Time. And then as we get into the next few days, we crank things up briefly and then cool them right back down. So this is for tomorrow. 87 would be a record high for Savannah, even could hit the lower 80s at our beaches. But watch what happens as we get into the middle of the week. We go from record highs potentially Tuesday to normal temperatures Wednesday and Thursday back to about average. But that does not come with a rain chance early in the week. It's the end of the week that we're eyeing our next best rain chance. Now I wouldn't change any plans right now, but we do have some showers that look to come in here Friday going into Saturday and we can look at it on the future radar. This is Friday morning going into the afternoon. Some light rain trying to sneak in here, maybe a tiny bit heavier on our Friday evening and then lingering showers going into Saturday. Now after this looks like we turn a little bit cooler and we'll talk about it right after this quick break.